and welcome. We're Paul and Marie. We're a UK reselling couple based in Southampton in Hampshire. And today, hun, where are we off to? We're off to the Yorkshire. Woo! It's a cold day in January. It's very sunny, but sometimes you think to yourself, oh, it's January. People are skint. Are we going to get a bargain? Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So we thought we'd take you along with us. We've got a list of a few things that we are sort of interested in, if the price is right. Um, and we thought we'd take you along, you can come and see what we are looking at and um, and then later on in the video, hopefully, there'll be some sort of bidding, but who knows, we don't well, know at this stage, it might all be a load of old rubbish. It may well so. be, but <laughs> you never know, that's the thing, I mean, it, you know, it can't well, be good, can't Never come on some sort of roller coaster here, hun, with this gimbal. I'm not a technical <laughs> person, so sorry about the angles, but we're on the way, we're driving and I'm trying to hold this equipment steady and um you know it's not one of my strongest <laughs> things so um apologies if you all get a bit seasick so let's head there now and see what they've got what's that oh. like the post box yeah nice isn't it I've had a look, there's not a massive amount of value. Oh, it's no. also looking at the condition of them, isn't it? Mm. But, um, you know, you just don't know. There's a lot in there. Mm. Um, there's a drum over there, look. It's not a drum. Oh, here's a drum. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So, this, yeah. this is one for you, it's um, some cameras. This uh, is a lot of nails. Lenses in there. Yeah. Let's give them the operation guide. Let's see if that one is. Let's see if I can yeah, write the number yeah. down. A liquid crystal candle. Model VM. Yeah, it's a little bit of a paperweight there. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit of a paperweight there. Sun 600. Oh, I've got all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah, undo the zip a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. Oh no, put it back in. <laughs> put it back in. <laughs> All that effort is what I think. This gorgeous thing, look at that. Cough and glass, that's like isn't it? Mm. That's got a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy. Keyboard and game equipment. Wow, look at that, Tandy. Remember Tandy? Yeah, they're long gone. Oh, Yamaha, so it's the PSS 570. Noted. When you say gaming equipment, there's not really a lot there, is there? What's that, a Wii? That that? Oh, it's a Wii console in there. Yeah. I've put down packs, packs and bags. <laughs> Look at them. They're gorgeous, look at that, look at the age to it. They're lovely, aren't they? They're kind of cool, aren't they? I don't know, I like the hats, there's some shoes in there as well. Yeah. 
the rage. <laughs> These are nice, aren't they? Some unusual ones. Hmm. This means, it? Is this all of this? Okay, I might just take some photos. Yeah, just to get the controls for them. Okay. That's lovely. Grandstand 6000 Deluxe. That's worth a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the photo then. What, what, what we got for 413? I haven't got it down. You haven't got it down? What is 413? 413. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just, just said, said it as 413. Well. <laughs> I'll watch it down then. This, um, Sony turntable and amplifier. Let's see if I can get the model number of that. So I'm having a look at stuff here with all the people's photos in it. Mm. Sad, isn't it? It is sad. It's cool, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Mm. Look at that. It's that? good, I think. Five, six, five. That's lovely. Let's have a look. Oh. There's quite a few in here. Yeah. I think this is just a, a guest job. I think the way it's displayed it makes me wonder if it's yeah. someone's collection of stuff that didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Well, upstairs and upstairs, you still can work with them. Mm. But how do you put a price on that? Not really, no. There's loads of them in here. Damaged ones. Yeah. Can you give me the hand there? I can't remember. Is that one of the grounds? No. Oh, yeah. Pop that back in. I'll take it somewhere. Really. Disease as well, right? Looks like it. Oh. Mm. Sometimes you would um, make my another bag. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. I think they're going to go for screen. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, There's too many to write down. Yeah. It's a yeah. random selection of uh, camera gear sort of value camera bags mm. oh, the little mini tripods Oh, These are wow. Victorian cast iron. Look at those. Stick holders. What sort of size candle would you have to have? Oh, that's a nasty spike. Cast iron. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? They're massive, aren't they? 150 to 200 pounds. I've got them down. Really? What's that? That's different, isn't it? What's that made with? It's all feathers. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, all those feathers. Cool, isn't it? Even the swans look all this. These look a bit like peacock feathers, don't they? Swans made with feathers. Amazing. Wow. There's a lot of Sunday stuff here, isn't there? There but... is. They're very dusty. <laughs> Get an idea. Two one. This is two lots, though. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So two one four, one two three four five six, but they're all big, aren't they? Six big. 
and then you've got two on five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very difficult to make because they sort of fill. They, they've been stored, stored and they're not very carefully by the looks of it. Yeah, and it, you can sort of feel sometimes the, um, not the mould, but you know what I mean. Mm. The nice things you don't see very often, though. Mm. Would you go and take a couple of pictures? Just yeah, yeah, sure. Google it. Oh, this one here. Oh, they're cool. Individually, but yeah, you can put a few but... together. I so it's it's all the, yeah, exactly. Let's just have a rough idea of how many. Twenty-five ish. Okay. Gives you an idea of what a piece sort of thing. Isn't it? Mm. That one there. <laughs> I tried Googling but couldn't get a lot of detail. Okay. They do hold, don't they? They do. <laughs> see, if, see if a date. Do you know a date on the back or just on the back? They're cool. Little stone mm -hmm. it's actually, it's actually food in them. No. Cool. You smell that. Garlic, yeah. yeah. Mm. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, news, aren't they? Very unusual. It's cool, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Oh, spin. It's a spinning one, yeah. Oh, should we have a look outside? Quite like those badges, hun. Quite cool, aren't they? Yeah. Coca Cola, Coca -Cola ones in there. Olders, remember Olders? Olders, <laughs> Christ, yeah. <laughs> Showing these lamps on because look how gorgeous they are. They are Tagging gorgeous. on outside lanterns. Guy price 150 to 180. Really? Aren't they're gorgeous though. They are. You've got have some sort of mansion though to have those outside. Bit they're heavy. Yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> there they are. Very nice. So there we go, we are back from the look around the auction house. Um, I just went with a scrappy bit of paper, just, just with some notes on of the items I was sort of interested in. Some of the items I've written down and wanted to show you, I'm, I, I would love to be interested in, but they're a lot of money, like the, those gorgeous octagonal outside lanterns. Oh, they are nice, aren't they? The cast iron Victorian candlesticks, I thought it was worth showing you those because they were gorgeous. But the, some of the things we are interested in, hum. Um, the Le Creuset, now um, I did look yesterday before we came here, um, to see what the prices of those Le Creuset because I thought they're a bit unusual and to get that sort of thing um, you can get them on eBay but you have to get them from Japan so when I did have a look the prices it was saying between 120 and 150 pounds for like a set of four but to be honest with you it's very difficult when you're looking at a photo because I assumed before coming here that they were the normal side size sort of Le Creuset and they were teeny tiny weren't they <laughs> teeny tiny um, stoneware pots. So what I'll now do is, is go back and do a little bit more research and also look at the sizings on people's listings just to make sure we are talking about the same sort of item. Yeah. It's ever so easy to get um, mixed up when you're looking at just a photo. So you do have to check these sorts of things. Other things to sort of um, pay attention at an auction is the things that, that are behind glass in a cabinet. Don't assume they're in perfect order. They could have cracks, chips. It's ever so easy to think. You, your brain tells you, oh, they've they've put the best stuff in the glass cabinet, but sometimes um, it's not. It's just a good no, brand, but it can it. be damaged in some way. So just be a little bit aware of that. 
Um, we've looked at the um, the men's magazines. Not a brand we'd looked at before, but we, when we were here a while back, some um, other other brands, hun, were going for really, really strong money. But this, um, some of these were Giggles and Gows. Um, yeah, I think the previous ones were more recognisable brands, weren't they? Yes, and um, to be honest, these... you know, they're saying 50 to 80 pounds, so I expect them to go for good money. Um, but it's one of my pet hates is an n instead of an and. So um, I'm not sure whether we'll be interested in those just purely because of that. So you've you've put down some trays of camera stuff. Yeah. It's difficult um, when you've got four it, trays of cameras. Um, you, you, what could, do you, do? you could spend ages writing all the models down and, you know, it, yeah. you need to do as much research as you can, but within reason, obviously, you, you know, you've got to... Um, allocate a certain amount of time to it because you know chances are unless you're going to put a, a high um uh bid in you, yeah. you know you probably wouldn't end up with it and that's all that time wasted so yeah. you've, got, you've got you know you've got to um sort of draw on your experience of the past really haven't you and, and try and um sort of gauge a rough price yeah and the thing with these tray boxes if you've got a, if you've got a tray box full of cameras um, then that sort of says to me that not a lot of care may have been taken with them. They've been chucked it's in a box. just chucked in, yeah. Why has someone got four tray boxes of cameras? Yeah. Are these um, resellers that have bought cameras at boot sales and they don't work, so they chuck them all into auction? So it's just being aware that a lot of things in auction may not function correctly. So you've got to they factor that into your bid. All that, uh, sold as seen. All sold as seen. Um, yeah, that's it. So it is, it is, it is what it is, you know. It's, yeah. And so what we've done on some of the lots, because I think there was about three or four camera lots, and so not on the four trays one, because that's not feasible, but on, on some of the other electrical item ones, we've taken the model numbers, and what yeah. we'll do is we'll have a look at the prices of spares and repairs on eBay, and that will give us a baseline of what, you know, we we could be looking at. Yes, Worst case right. scenario, because you yeah. do have to sort of factor that in. Not everything at auction is going to be working. Oh, no, definitely. It's a way yeah. of people getting money in for clearing their old rubbish. So you've got to sort of think of that. Yeah. So what else have we got here? Um, badges. I, I've got a thing about badges. I think it's because I've never actually bought them before. Every time I bid for them, they go for silly money. Mm. So we'll do a little bit of research to see what sort of individual badges go for. Yeah. Um, and whether it's worth my time. I mean, we've definitely come to this auction a bit differently to the last auction in May last year. Because I said to Paul straight away, I'm not interested in lo lots of lots of tat. I'm not interested in things that need cleaning. Mm. I'm not interested in volumes. Mm. You'll it's be able to show quality. this back, hun, when we come back with loads of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'll it back to you. She's broken her own rules again. <laughs> um, we'll see. <laughs> but what else did we look at? Hats and handbags. We've done well with hats and handbags before. So I've written those down. Uh, we've got a keyboard. Um, Paul's yes, had keyboards yeah. in the past and, and said he would never buy them again because they're difficult <laughs> to pack. This wasn't a ginormous no, one, this, though, was it? it, it, it the last one uh, that we did make good money on, so I shouldn't moan, really, but it was big. And, they can um, be difficult, can't they? I like to be quite thorough when I'm wrapping things like that because obviously I want to make sure it gets there in one piece. Yeah, and if you're wrapping but it on the floor, it's not always it's an not, easy thing to do, is it? As you know, I'm not I'm not the lightest of people, <laughs> and sometimes it can be a challenge. Cuddly, honey, it's cuddly. cuddly. <laughs> That's it. So, um, so, so yeah. we've got we always write down the model numbers because now um, we've had a little run around the auction, but now is where the hard work and the time. Um, kicks in because now you have to Google everything yeah, to get a yeah. rough idea because otherwise how do you know how to price it? That's so it. Um, some tea cards, uh, we looked at a box of tea cards. Um, again, got no idea how on those so I'll have a look. Mm. The um, You may have seen the, the cowhide stool which is an Ikea um, stall and we've we have um, sold a few IKEA things. It always surprises mm, us the IKEA it things. It does, yeah, I because didn't think because they go for was... more than you think. Yeah, yeah. I'm so even really though I'm not, I'm not a fan of cowhide in any sort of form really, but um, IKEA is popular. So I have had a look before the auction, and they sell between thirty five and fifty pound those stalls. Right. So there's three or four that have sold. And that's about the the price. So it all mm. hinges on, especially where it's positioned in in the auction. It, we missed it first time around, so yeah. it could be overlooked by quite a lot of people. Um, I've got here some older Le Creuset we looked at. Um, and as I say, what we've done is just jotted down. I'm in one of these lots here, Hans, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items that we've jotted down electrical, yeah. electrical um, like product numbers just to get a rough idea. 
whether it's worth... Again, it's, it's balancing worth... your time as well, Yeah. Because, like I say, we more than likely won't end up with that lot. No, you just if, don't it's, know. if um, it's too good, it'll go for silly money. Yeah. Um, so... We're not looking at silly money. <laughs> no. We don't really need anything. We just no. um, thought we'd come along, bring you along with us and have yeah, a look. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, the thing to bear in mind, if you're new to these videos, you may not know that if you go to an auction, there are auction fees. Yes. At this particular auction, I think it's about 30%, isn't it? Uh, yes, I don't think it's changed. It's what roughly, you know, in, including all the VAT and everything. It works out. About 30%. Overall, um, about 30%. Yeah. But I will double-check it because now yeah. we're in a new year, and especially recently... Sometimes a different year means people can put their prices up. That's so I will double. I have not checked that yet. So it's something I will check before we start bidding on Monday, because you never know, hun, do you? You don't want to get caught out by um, any changes. That's it. So Definitely. that's sort of where we're at. It's um, we've had had fun, haven't we? We have. Blue uh, and it's, cold. it's nice to actually get around <laughs> and start looking again. Yeah. Um, yeah but, nice to um, get out. Yeah. And you know what yeah. that means, hun? It means we go back and have a coffee now. Yay! Woo. Nice coffee. So we have put. Um, we've got a few pictures of. Um, Paul enjoying himself at the auction. We'll slot those in. Um, <laughs> and yes, hopefully on the next bit of this video will be us actually um, having a look at the prices and bidding. Yes. So we'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. And here we are at the auction. Just wanted to um, show you that Paul's getting better from his accident. Um, yeah. We're, we had a bit of fun, didn't we? We, we did have a little Thought bit of fun. We'll show the you auction. some of these. Um... <laughs> <laughs> these lovely auction items. <laughs> Um, Paul is getting much better. The swelling's gone down. Yeah. Um, you're you're feeling much better, aren't you? As oh, well. Oh, definitely, definitely. So we just want to say thank you very much to all the people that left us comments. Yeah. Um, it was very, so nice. very kind of you all. We, you felt very loved, didn't I you? I did Mother? feel very loved. Very yes. Loved. Thank you. Thank um, you. We also want to address the hidden um, lyrics from last week. And I'm sorry I didn't tell people until halfway through the video. It was a bit of a car crash last week, wasn't it? It in the was video? a bit, yeah. We yeah, were it was a bit, a bit all over the place. Sleep deprived, and it went a bit. It was a bit messy. So apologies for the shoddiness of the video, um, but we want to say thank you to Grandma Wanders Off, who we now know is Nikki. Um, she did guess the Stormzy lyric, which was "I got the size, got the size twelves on my feet," mm. um, and the other reference was "I stay out too late, got nothing in my brain," which was Taylor Swift. Look at me go. <laughs> Choosing really young. <laughs> really young, trying to make myself look young, like yeah. I know who these people are. Um, so, yes, just want to say thanks ever so much for all the love. Thank you. Okay, what we're going to do now is take you through some of the items that we're um, bidding for. Lot 31, the eight boxes of china and brass items. Now, the thing to be careful here is that um, if you're putting something into auction, you're going to have all your best stuff on the top, all the chipped crack stuff's going to be underneath, so just don't. Don't pay too highly for these sort of boxes because you never know what you're going to find. We're going to bid £60, which will be £80 with fees, which equates to £10 per box. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I've got Sainsbury, Tyler, Manor, etc. Again, 60, 65, 70, 75 on Liverpool. Yeah. Thank you. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. I've got 95, 100. 100 there in the room is your hotel lot. 100 then, to the room, select 110, 120. 120 back in the room, is it 130? 120 then, to the room. This is lot 144, and I checked these online. These are teeny tiny, they're individual sort of portion bowls. Um, they go for between 120 and 150 pound on eBay, but you can really only get them from Japan. They're quite rare in this country. Um, we're just about to do the auction, it's auction morning, and these are already up to 85 pound. So a bit rich for us, I think, hun. Oh, the fruit saying, fishy thing, the fishy trailer, 85 there, I'm on the 90 shortly. 85 there then, not to anywhere else. This is lot 155, Gentleman's Material. Um, it's a guide price of 50 to 80, but when I've had a look online, it's, con it's Giggles and Gals, and also Comic Cuties. Now, the Comic Cuties um, are selling for 35 pound each online. Um, Already they're they're up at thirty pounds, so not the sort of thing we're going to be interested in, hun. No, it's hammer time. Oh my God, what are you Men's magazines, etc. Seventy there on lot. Seventy there on nine. Is it seventy four? Seventy there on lot. This is lot one nine two. Four trays of cameras. 
Now look at all that work. Um, mm, lots of work. How do you put a price on something like this? Um, also the condition, they're all chucked in a box. So yeah, you, do, you don't know what condition they're in, do you? I think you're going to sort of wing it yeah. and see how you get on and, and see how much you want to bid. But it's a lot of work and really we don't need a lot of work we don't, at the minute. Not a lot at the moment, no. We're still sorting out. So, so. not enthusiastic about it, are we, Hammond? No, let's see. One on two. Cameras at ten tracks. Forty four there are on. Is that forty six? Forty six. Is that forty eight? Forty six then in the room. Forty eight on the rounds. This is lot 214, six um, sort of 80s Cindy items. Now the problem with this, just, when it's in a box, you can't see it. No. You don't know what the condition of it is going to be could like. Be broken. At least one of these items is electrical, so it could have corroded battery contacts. You, you don't really know. I've Googled it and um, on eBay, they're about £200 for a selling value for those items. Um, but Cindy always always goes for high money at the auction, so I don't think we'll end up getting it, hun. No. This is lot 215, nine smaller Cindy items. These are more 70s. But if you look at the condition of the boxes, it doesn't hold out a lot of hope that the product inside is going to be good. You can't assume that there's, they're all going to be complete, so you've got to be really cautious with this sort of thing. You don't overbid. Um, a sale value of about 220 when I googled it. Um, not, I'm not positive about this one, hun. I think it's going to go for too much money. Come on, five. Now it's next to Cindy. Box time's there. 55. I've got 60. Is there 65? 65 away there, and we are on 70. 70 back in the room, it says 75. 70, 75, 180, 80 back in the room, 85. 90, 95, 100, 110, 120, 110 and 09, selling it away. This is lot 246, cameras and lenses. Um, whilst we're at the auction, Paul said he'd only really be interested in getting it if it was cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So you were going to sort work of, again. So. Yeah, you were going to sort of wait and wait for the auction and see see where it took you. Yeah, that's it. This is lot 281, the um, tub of badges. I've always wanted to get badges, hun. I always get outbid. Yeah. Um, realistically, you're looking at two to three pound a badge. So I was, I was sort of intending on bundling a few together. Um, and I wanted to bid 10, which would fees would have been 13 pounds. So that's what I'm actually aiming to get them for. But I don't, fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't think I will. They always go out of reach, hun. <laughs> This is lot 363, hats and handbags. Now again, I like getting these lots cheap if I can, so I'd sort of thought, okay, I'll take a punt on it, I'll bid £10, which is £13 with fees, and um, keep my fingers crossed. Four ten. Four ten. <laughs> Um, 363, collection of village hats and handbags, etc. 18 now on line, is there 20? 20 now back in the room, is there 22? 20 in the room, then, selling it away. 22, not 24, 26. 24, then, see if you can get anywhere else. This is lot 413, it's a Sony amp, a Sony turntable, and some Celestian speakers. Um, now, on the day, £70. So it's a bit rich for us, but... Yeah, is that the, um, the estimate? 
That's the that's what yeah. it's going. No, that's what it's actually up up for before the auction starts. Before the auction starts. Okay. But on eBay, yeah. they they're selling those three in total, selling for over five hundred pounds. So yeah. I think it's going to be way too it's rich for be, us. Yeah, yeah. We don't mind taking a punt because no guarantee they're actually going to be working. No, definitely not. You get spares and repairs um, price, mm. but uh, mm. no guarantee. It's not for us, hun, is it? It's too rich. Too rich. <laughs> This is lot 453, um, a box of tea cards. I sort of wanted to learn about these, hun. I always try and challenge myself by buying something I don't know about, mm. um, but I'm only prepared to pay a tenner. So with fees, it'll be £13. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. This is lot 555, the IKEA um, rotating stool. They sell on eBay for between 30 and 50. So realistically, hun, we'd be happy with paying 10 pound with the with the, the 3 pound fee. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um so that's what we're bidding for, but uh, if anyone knows it's IKEA, then we've got no chance. Yeah. Well, I've got the five IKEA from school. Training at Sorry, no pen. Is that cool? Cool. Thirty eight million eight. Sign it away. Well what happened there then? Oh my god, I, that's never happened to us before. We couldn't believe it. I oh know, it's um you know, here's what it is though, isn't it? <laughs> we done all that work, all that time watching the auction and we didn't actually win anything. Mm. Now we've talked about this before and normally when you see our auction videos we've bought all sorts of lots, but we didn't put our bids in beforehand because we, we didn't want to end up with loads and loads of stuff and the reality is we've ended up with nothing. Well, you know, like I said, it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> so what would you do um, at this stage? Just to mm. give you a brief recap, um, we spent, I've got it written down here because I always like to um, have the notes. We spent an hour, I spent an hour looking through before we came to the auction. We were both together, so we travelled to the auction. That's another hour. And then I spent um, two hours going through and doing the research before we, um, you know, looked at what we were going to bid. And then we yesterday we spent the time watching the auction. We try and do bits in between, but in all fairness, because especially where Paul was recording it, you can't you can't do anything else really. No, it, it takes it, up your whole time. Yeah, it does take up a bit of your time, even though mm. you've, you've got gaps in between. But sometimes mm -hmm. auction lots move quicker than others. They sometimes. do, and you have to you, you, keep so your eye on you, it. You have to keep your eye on it. So of course you've always got that in the back of your mind, haven't you? So in total, just to let you know, by this stage in the video, we have already spent twelve man hours. Mm on this auction and we have nothing to show for it. <laughs> no. So what would you do? Leave us a comment, hun, eh? Yeah, leave because us a comment. Because what would you do? Would you cut your losses and, and just call it quits off. right off that 12 hours? Or would you do what we've done? I say we, poor old Paul, we, we'd done the last, he'd filmed the last auction lot that we'd written down. And on the time from him leaving the office and walking through to where I was in the kitchen, um, I'd already bought a lot. Um, random <laughs> buying, panic buying, we call it. Panic buying, um, yeah. Would you buy blind? This is the thing. These are the rules we, when we make these auction videos, we say don't buy blind. Yeah. Um, don't panic. Don't be trigger happy. No. Um, and what I've done essentially is broken all of the rules. So we bought three lots in total. We bought lot um, 572, which is some African candlesticks and a pipe smoking figure. I know, completely random, but it was £10. So with fees, it would be £13. And um, We also bought um, something that I'm not going to be able to show you because we bought it as a present for our father-in-law's birthdays later on in the year. So that was, I think, £12. Yeah. Um, and then we've bought um, another lot because I couldn't help myself then because you don't want to go all that way just to, for just, one or just, two just, things. So by then, I'm, I'm completely frenzied. Um, and Paul came into the kitchen a bit later and said, oh, 
we're buying pictures now, are we? <laughs> because one of our rules is we don't buy pictures because they come with glass, they're difficult to ship, we try not to buy anything with glass because we've had issues in the past. So I've bought a lot with some um, pictures and prints. Who knows? You never know. That was suppose, you know. 632 and again that was £10. So we've spent 40 something pound, 40. 41, well where are we? But only oh, two of them yeah. are for us. One of them is a personal item for um, a member of family. So. We've actually spent, I think, £26. It'd be right. roughly £26. Right, OK. So... There's not a lot, is it? Not, it's not, not a lot to show to. for 12 hours of time. And no. to be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous because will we actually be able to get our money back? This is the thing when you you go rogue, mm. you panic, um, you're just buying anything off of a picture, you don't know what you're buying. So, oh, what well, can I say? Yeah. What can I say? So we're, we are here at the auction, um, which is, again, is another thing, because if we'd have cut our losses, we'd have only spent 12 hours. Now we've spent, now we've spent 13 hours. Yeah, yeah, we're coming um, to the auction, coming to collect the stuff. So it makes it so, even worse now, more you know, time. The, the auction is approximately about 25 minutes away from us, isn't yeah. it? So you, you want to make sure you've got enough stuff to make it worthwhile. Yeah, um, because and I don't it's, it's know not if it's just it's be... the travelling, it's the fuel, it's, mm. it's you know, it's all that that has to be taken out of um, you know out of your profit. So yeah, I mean, if you, you well, we've never really had it, but yeah, I'm sure you know other people have days like this where you don't really get much. Yeah, and I think I think it's one of these things where we haven't bought for um, since last June. Yeah. And in some mm. of the auction videos we've shown you, we've done really well with the books yeah, yeah. and um, things like trays of teddies and things. Yeah. Um, but that was when we were buying normally. At the minute, where we've had to so, such a long time where we've not been buying and the garage is still not clear, it no, does sort of well. cloud your judgment on how you're buying. We didn't want to buy loads and loads of stuff. Mm. Um, so essentially we've got very little, <laughs> which is now going to count against us. Yeah. But this is what it is with reselling. You can't odds it. Um, the prices, as you would have seen, the prices were steep. And you could easily, I could easily have overbid, but, uh, you know, at least at least I was good and not going too mad. Yes, um, that's it. And that's, that's what it is. So yeah. what we're going to do at the end of this video, we're going to flash up the the two auction lots that we got. Um, yes, yes, show you. Show just you to show you, and then in next week's video, we, um, we're going to... Create another video. We'll create we? another video yeah. going through it, and you can have a good old laugh. <laughs> so so <is> that it? <laughs> what we want you to do between now and then is really keep all your fingers crossed, because I'm, I'm sort of sensing I'm going to look a bit of an idiot, um, <laughs> by quite a hypocritical idiot, by saying, don't do this, and then doing yeah, it. And doing that, that's the um, thing, it is one of our key things isn't it it's try not to do it blind we try and, and give advice do. on what to do yeah. and then when and then we go against our own advice yeah because you do get to a frenzied <laughs> panic um and yeah. that's what it is sometimes is that you you just end up because 12 hours gone yeah and you, you can't do anything with that what do you do cut your losses or just randomly buy stuff in the hope that you can make some money so yeah. hope i'm using that word hope so I want all of you to channel some hope towards us so that yes. next week's video... Pray for a little gem in there. <laughs> we have some sort of... Um, something, the sort of thing uh, that we see on Antiques Roadshow. That's what we're looking That's for. That's what we're looking for, Keep yes. those fingers crossed. It's worth £10,000. That would be way. nice, wouldn't it? That's never going to happen, though. <laughs> we're lucky in a lot of our videos, but we're not that lucky. No, no, that's it. <laughs> so we're going to go in now. I mean, it is a uh, very cold day today. Yeah. Um, which is my punishment for coming out um, and buying those things is that we've had to come in and collect them. Mm. Um, we also started a diet yesterday, so we're proper miserable. Yeah, proper grumpy. So, Absolutely yes, grumpy. and now we're buying some, as Alan Sugar would say, some toot some um, <laughs> that we didn't even want, and now we've got to try and sell it. We don't sell pictures on eBay, so I don't know what we're going to do with it all. We'll figure something out. But it's a challenge, isn't it? It's a challenge. Lucky us. <laughs> so I think we'll sign off now. We'll huh? sign off there. We're just so, waffling you know, now. Thank you for watching, and, um, yeah, do look out for the next video video um oh it's going to be a belter and uh yeah please do give us a thumbs up and consider <laughs> subscribing you know it's free so um yeah just uh, and that's it really and we'll so. catch you in the next one but we'll leave you a picture of what it is we've actually bought so you can have a good old laugh yes take care and see, see you later bye